Okay, now we're going to look at the, uh, we're going to look at a house, pay, calculating house payments. So this is going to be the, um, we're going to calculate the payment because we know the present value. All right, so this is going to be the um, present value of a, an annuity. And I'm going to switch back over to Excel. And, okay, so, um, so we have three houses. So there's three houses because I like house centers. Uh, we have Simon and Myrna as our couple and they've been saving up to buy a house. And they've saved $100,000. They're willing to use all of it for down payments for the right house, but they would love to have savings left over for home improvements. So they hope they don't have to use the whole thing, but they'll use it if they have to. Um, they've found three houses for sale in the neighborhood that they love. <coughs> house one is a cute craftsman bungalow for $450,000. It's in the school district they want and has a ton of charm. The house will need some updating and the closets are very small. House two is new construction. It would not need any updating. At $500,000, it's at the top of their budget and won't be ready to move in for three months. House number three is a California ranch. It has the biggest yard and at $400,000, it is the least expensive. House number three is on a busier street than the couple was hoping for. Simon and Myrna intend to put down a 20% down payment, and they have been pre-approved for a 30-year loan of up to $400,000 with an annual interest rate of 3%. Okay, so we are only going to use Excel on this one, and the reason is because our chart only goes up to 20 years, but most people get a 30-year loan, so we're going to just use Excel because I would like this to be practical for you. All right, so let's start with the selling prices of our house. So house number one is $450,000. House number two is $500,000. Top of their budget. And house number three is $400,000. Least expensive, but on the busy street. The down payment is they want to put down a 20% down payment. So we'll just take the selling price of the house times 0 0.2. Now, when you're buying a house, you can always offer more or less than the asking price, but we're just going to go with the asking price because that's going to make our lives easy. Okay, so we have our down payments, and so the amount of the loan is going to be what we pay for the house minus the down payment. So that'll be our own cash. So the loan on house number one will be $360,000. The house on... House number two will, would need to require a loan of $400,000, which is the most they can get. And house number three is $320,000 loan. All right, the annual interest rate is 3%. Uh, we, our payments are monthly payments. When you get a house mortgage, you, pay, you make monthly payments. So we need a monthly interest rate. So we're just going to take that annual interest rate and divide it by the loan term in months, because again, we need our number of periods to be in months, they're going to get a 30-year loan times 12 months. So it'll be a 360-period loan. They'll make 360 payments. So we're just going to copy all of this over. No reason for me to retype it, because I know Excel, and you're learning Excel. All right, so our monthly payment. So to calculate that, we're going to go to the Formulas tab. Then we're going to go to financial formulas and we're going to come down here and find one that says PMT for payment. Our rate is going to be our monthly interest rate. Our number of periods is going to be the loan term in months, 360, and our present value is going to be the amount of the loan or $360,000. So our payment will be $1,517.77, okay? Um, the reason this is negative is because the payment is a cash outflow, whereas the amount of the loan would be a cash inflow. All right, we're going to do this again. I could just copy and paste this over, but let's go through it again at least one more time so you can see it. So we're going to go to formulas, financial. We're going to find PMT for payment. The rate is the monthly interest rate. The number of periods is the um, loan term in months, and the 
present value is the amount of the loan. On house number two, the payment will be $1,686.42. For house number three, formulas, financial, payment, the rate, the number of periods, and the present value is the amount of the loan, $320,000, and the payment will be $1,349.13. Okay. So that is how we do the house payment. Let me just give you a quick thing really here. Um, usually your house payment includes the premium on your house, your home insurance and your property taxes. So the house payment will actually be larger. Um, all you need to know for this class is how to calculate the payment of principal and interest because that's, that's what we calculated, the principal and interest, their monthly payment on the loan. If you are interested in using this in the future to perhaps buy a house, I'll do a bonus video at the end that shows you how to actually calculate what your, what your payment is going to be every month, including your interest and your property taxes, because um, that will be interesting. But for now, this is what you need to know. So I'm going to drop off here, and then in the next video, we are going to do the same thing, but we're going to buy a car instead.